Hi, I'm O5Redacted and uh, in this video I'm going to be, this video is going to be a tutorial on how to download a map and how to install it and stuff like that. It's primarily made for my facility but it works with other maps of course, that's why the title has um, how to download a modded map. So, in my case, this is the map, right? Come here, area 12, bam bam bam. If you want to download it, you go to area 12 continue and now it's going to tell you something but of course I have to wait enter decryption key right the decryption key is right here you just copy this string of number of, of letters numbers and whatever else copy mega you paste it here decrypt boom and this is it right and you can you download it as a zip right but I'm not going to do that because I already have the map and it's going to take a long time uh, well depends but in my case I don't want to waste that time so you basically got on the map right let's say this is the download it's not going to be called area 12 fifth this is because this is like the version I upload right and you're going to get this the journey map folder the um, how is it called a map the um, flans folder for the flans add-ons uh, mods area 12 with the mods of course uh, area 12 resource pack and this is the normal light resource pack this basically has uh, the light map or i know how it's called basically the facility looks more white like everything looks more white the light isn't warm it's like very cold and stuff like that um and here are the normal lights right so you can basically switch between them if you want <clears throat> so yeah but before we do this we need to do something else first so we go here and we go to download forge right this is like a mod loader the mod loader for like mo the mods for my facility right and you have these right you can download 2860 or 2859 or you can show all versions that is going to go down but I know I would recommend one of them, doesn't matter what uh, you want to get. I'm just going to get 2860 just for like the um, um, simplicity of it because I have 2860. We're going to wait and then press skip here. It's we are going to get this. You accept. You download it. Great. Now you got this, right? The installer. And then you're going to just double click it want to allow it to do its thing install client now you need to install client for like the server for like the um, to get a client you know so you can use mods and stuff like that you go okay it's going to do this install client into the launcher okay boom and you also get something like this you can delete it like I don't even know what comes ah it's the um, uh, log I think you can just like put it in the trash you know uh, then you are going to go to the um, games or oh, well you have minecraft you are going to open the minecraft launcher <coughs> in this case I already had this one but uh, I put it again let me just check the installations if it still has uh, how to add more RAM so you can basically add more RAM you basically change this with G right you change it and um, you put whatever number you want that's like how many gigabytes of RAM it's going to use for example if you put the default is 2 but if you're going to use mods you're going to need more I have 13 gigabytes just to like have enough even though you don't necessarily need that much RAM <coughs> and then you're going to press play and you're going to wait for the game to load I think I'll cut here I don't I don't know okay so now your minecraft has opened right um, this is like before you install the mods and stuff like that you should have like four or five mods here the mods are like something from you know Minecraft, Minecraft Coder Pack stuff like that, Forge Mod Loader, Minecraft Forge and from here start the actual mods you're not going to have this this is like from um, NCP Lockdown and right now you're going to like uh, close Minecraft you're going to quit game right because we did this so um, the um, Mods folder will be made, right? It will like set up and stuff like that. So you basically then go to app data and search it again. So you see this. 
this is what you need to like use app data it's going to send you here go to minecraft and this should have a lovely uh, folder called mods right good and then in the mods you go here you go to mods area 12 you copy all of this and then you paste it here right i'm not going to do that because i already have them and these are a bit different from what i have because yeah <coughs> then you are going to because we already have okay i don't want to yes so then you are going to go to uh, not resources wait i go here resource packs right and you are going to put uh, both of these or just one of these um whatever you want just i i don't know what happens if you put the, both of them together just like get one and use that or put both and then just use one and change it to the other and stuff like that they have like the same thing the, the same stuff in it it's just um, um <laughs> it's just the lighting different right and boom you put the resource back right then you go to minecraft uh, the flans folder you see it here the flans folder you get it and just paste it here in dot minecraft like you just paste it here you see i have it here right boom flan then you get area sorry area of the map you go here and you put it in saves here you put it in saves of course i have a lot of saves and old stuff and blah 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 uh, you put it here now i already have it so of course i'm not going to put it you drag and drop it if you don't even know that then why the fuck are you watching the tutorial <coughs> then you have this little motherfucker area 12 again um with this uh, line here i know exactly what the sign is called but you see it's like not a minus not even a minus or a minus line it's a bit curved for that you need to first like um download the uh, like put the journey map mod in from the mods and you're going to get something like this journey map and then you go to data data you put sp mp stands for multiplayer sp stands for single player and then you put it here it's basically the map of the map like basically it encapsulates the waypoints the stuff that's already been loaded on the map you know that's already been mapped and stuff like that you put it here but you first need to like make it i know if you can just like go to minecraft make a folder called journey map and put data and all of this in it just going to get filled or whatever happens uh so i suggest just starting minecraft again and putting uh, that is going to automatically get created right okay so basically installed everything here now you can close this you can close the download you can open the minecraft launcher again also this is the section where you can actually put your cursor so it's directly on play i know that's a little interesting fact i thought you wanted to know okay so it's nearly done and it's done okay can you like okay thanks and now if you go to single player you'll find area 12. of course it's not going to be like up here necessarily if you have other worlds that you've played because it basically um, puts them like this in the order of when you play them so basically if you played something like a year ago it's going to be down down Played something like six months ago is going to be over that or it's going to be under something that you like played 10 minutes ago so yeah go you search it it should have this picture it should be like area 12 like this or, or it would be world i know exactly what it would be for you necessarily uh, i think it's going to be world like how i downloaded site 21 because the name here like up here is something that you said and then you can go and play and yeah i think that's the tutorial i guess so yeah see you in the next video bye